Varicose veins can occur for a variety of reasons, sometimes accompanied with painful symptoms. In tonight's Health Beat, Kettle Land's Sophie Heineman shows us what options people have to treat it. Lori Visker is no stranger to varicose veins, with some in her family already dealing with them. But it wasn't until she started experiencing pain that she realized she was suffering from them too. I think my symptoms were probably um, worse at night. And I would wake up and I would have such a heaviness and my legs would almost feel like they were tired. Dr. Benjamin Jorgensen says those symptoms, along with swelling and itching in the legs, can all occur when someone is dealing with varicose veins. Fortunately, he says people have options when it comes to treatment. A lot of people can be treated uh, with simple compression therapy. And by that I mean... Uh, we start them out with compression socks. He says a majority of people experience relief through compression therapy, but not everyone. In Visker's case, sclerotherapy was needed. We heat up the inside of the vein and cause some damage to the inside of the, the lining of the vein uh, that, that causes it to close down. And uh, as I said, it, it helps reroute blood through healthy vessels. And, and she came back after the procedure um, and had excellent symptom relief. I have absolutely no more problems in my legs. Um, I do all of my normal activities. I work out every day. It's it's all um, it's business as usual. Jorgensen says the recovery time requires about one day of rest and avoiding strenuous activities for about a week. And whether you need compression or sclerotherapy, Visker hopes others won't wait to seek treatment. Well, if you are experiencing symptoms. Having those, those things checked out just to make sure that, that things are working as they should um, because it was a night and day difference. With Health Beat, I'm Sophie Heineman.